Okay, so I'm deciding on the final kind of look of my screen uh, front end. And I'm using a real simple layout, like I've shown in the past, just a list of games. Uh, but I've, I'm going with a kind of a color theme on the bar top arcade and I want to kind of amend this current theme that I'm using to kind of match it and tie into it uh, color scheme wise so this is this theme is called uh, carbon no meta or just carbon um, it's actually the carbon one but this this is the basic view of it you've got basic you can have a detailed view uh, which includes like screenshots and videos, but I'm um, and I'm, but I'm keeping it on basic, so it it means it's just like this game list. This is what it looks like. But I want to change the colours and the fonts and stuff for this uh, to match the overall look of my bar top. So I'm I've been looking at a lot of different bar tops and you know the kind of colour schemes that they have. And there are quite a lot of like, I mean, I like this kind of blue and black, red and black, and loads of different kind of styles. Look really nice, go really well. But I've just, I've, see, I've seen one that I really like on a YouTube video with a golden axe cabinet that someone had. Uh, even this is a good example, this one here as well. It's a yellow and black kind of theme. Forget all the artwork on the side. I don't think I'm going to have artwork on mine. I'm just going to keep it on a basic colour but I love the yellow and black contrast it reminds me of Clue from Tron and I'm a big fan of Tron and um, it kind of gives me that kind of Tron style without having a Tron theme kind of thing so I want to kind of apply it to this so I want to kind of make these bars yellow I want to change the, the color of the selected game to yellow. I just want to amend it so it's more Tron-esque and kind of more yellow and black. And I want to get rid of this bar here as well if possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, um, I've kind of got all the stuff I need. So in order to edit this, what I'm going to do is go into the configuration of the RetroPie and you go to the file manager. And that takes you into the, you know, the back end of RetroPie essentially. So you go to the menu here, etc. Emulation station themes. Uh, this is the one that's running at the moment, Carbon No Meta. So for example, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got all the files and stuff downloaded in the art folder. See, I've got all these pictures and things that I've been trying out. And I've, I've already got a setup. This is kind of one I made earlier, but I want to kind of show you how I made it. So I'll come out of this and I'll show you what I've done. I've downloaded a Tron kind of font and I've installed it into the folder. So if I want to change the font, I've tried the font, but it, it kind of looks funny. So let me, let me come out and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So this is this is what I've made earlier. So I've kind of changed it all around and changed the colors. So this is the before and this is the after. There we go. So what I've done, I've changed the colors of the bars to yellow. Uh, I've pushed the, the writing from the center over to the left hand side because it kind of, it's, when you're scrolling down, this kind of picture in the background obscures the writing because it centers in the middle when you're scrolling down. So I moved over to the left. I think it looks nice over there. I changed the background image from the carbon fiber effect and I put a kind of a light cycle image that I downloaded from the internet and kind of amended and changed the resolution on. So it kind of looks nice, I think. So if we go into the games menu now, I've got my games list. I've got it's changed to the yellow. And I think it just looks a lot nicer and it will go nicely with the, you know, the yellow and black style that I'm going to go for because I'm going to have um, yellow ball top and I'm going to keep these buttons as they are, but I'm going to have two yellow buttons here. Uh, you know, I'm going to have just flashes of yellow um, and I've got, I'll have the yellow kind of 
tea molding around it. So it's it's gonna really look. I hope it's gonna make the kind of bar top pop out and just have that kind of yellow and black kind of look to it. That's really what I want to go for. I love the yellow and black. So that's the whole idea. Um, I like I said, I did download a font, a Tron font, but kind of looking at it, it didn't look quite right. What I'll do, I'll turn it on quickly so you can see it. And I mean, maybe you can tell me if it looks better or not. I, I think it's kind of hard to read the games in that font. So I think I might just keep it on a simple font style. But let me just turn on the, let me turn on the Tron font and you can just see what it looks like and you can tell me if it's better or not. I, I, I think it looks nice, but I think it, using it for a long time, you, you kind of just get, it's kind of, kind of hard to see the writing. Uh, or read the writing even. Uh, let's go into here. You have to edit the config file here. So F4. So this is this is the file that I've been editing. You can see I've changed the the, the background images here to the images that I've uh, downloaded. Here again, Tron one. That's the background. That's the that's the light cycle image that I put there. Um, so here is where the font is, uh, the name of the font that I'm using currently. So I'm going to change this one. I downloaded a font called Tron. Uh, it's called, I think it's a capital T-R-2-N. So let's just change that. And then we'll save it. Cool. And you just have to kind of refresh it to change the font. Okay, so that's the Tron font. As you can see, you can change the size of it so it's bigger or smaller as well. But I think, you know, with the games list, it looks quite cool. It's a nice effect, but I think. For some games, it's kind of hard to read it, you know, because it's got that kind of transparency in the middle of it. This is the Tron Legacy font. It's not the original Tron font. It's the new film, newer film, the Tron Legacy style font. So I tried that out. I thought it looked all right, but after using it for a while, I thought, yeah, it's a little bit hard to read. So I might just stick with the the basic font that I've got already on there. But I think the look is coming along nicely. Um, so I just thought I'd just post this. Uh, if, if I might go into a little bit more detail in another video about editing the config file to not essentially, so what I haven't done, what I've done is I've not created a, uh, a theme. I've just edited one that's already on, on here. So if you want any tips on how to edit a theme, um, you know, all the little things like the background images, the, you know, anything on the font. I think I've pretty much figured it all out. So, yeah, if any tips on you know, editing the font and where to put images and the config files and stuff, uh, just, yeah, let me know and I'll, I'll gladly uh, help you out. So, yeah, it's cool. It's coming along nicely. That's my little update so far. So just thought I'd post it up and um, show you where I'm at. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.